Once you got her workstation set up, she's going to be painting everything in this set. She's starting with the plates. So this is the design that I'm going to be putting on this entire set. I did this one as an example. Just like little flowers of different shapes and sizes and colors. So I'm going to start on this plate. I have four other plates and then the bowls and the cups and the little dishes. So here we have all our set. As you can see, we have a lot of different items. So there's the stacking set, there's the set of small bowls, there's the set of big bowls, there's the set of plates, and then there's the set of these dishes. And then we also have these little like tumblers. They're kind of small, but I think we're still going to include them. And then this is the example she has here. And this is hopefully what the end result is going to be. We're planning on glazing this whole set with a matte, clear glaze. So right now, we're teeing up the wax to wax the bases so they don't stick to the kiln shelf. And then we'll go ahead and glaze them all, get them fired, and then we'll show you the end result. So here's the wax. It's melted. And just take the vessel and place it right down and then lift it. And then there's a nice line of wax there on the base. And that prevents the glaze from going on the base so um, the bowl doesn't stick to the kiln shelf. So Elsie started on the plates. I'm just Over here? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a nice even coat on the top. And then once it dries, I'll flip them all over into the, the base. I'm just going to paint around here, around the rim carefully, and then I'll paint the rest of the, the base. So right now I'm working on this set, which is... The little dishes and I'm just going to do something similar to what Elsie's doing which is painting the top and then I'll flip them over and work on the base. Rich just finishing up her little dishes and then I think we're going to move on to glazing the bowls. So I'm just glazing these large bowls right now. This one is unglazed and then these three are done and I'm working on this one. Um, right now I'm working on the largest of the mixing bowl set. And Elsie's about to get started on this set of small bowls, and I'm going to help her. So what you see amidst the splattered glaze is the set is finished, all glazed. There's more over here and more over here. And Elsie's just doing some quality control checks, and then we're going to start loading the kiln, and we'll fire them. So here's my set. We have the majority of the pieces glazed now. Fortunately, we were unable to fit all of them in one kiln load, so there's still a couple in the cabinet waiting to be fired. But this is a good sample of everything that we have. We have the little bowls. Maybe could be used for like a salad bowl or something like that. Um, and then these bigger bowls, perhaps soup or like cereal. And then we have these little platters, and these could be for like sushi or you know, appetizers, something like that. I really like how these turned out. I'm glad I decided to do the design like around the outside like this because I think it turned out really nice. And then we have these stacking bowls for the kitchen, just like mixing bowls. You need to mix up a little sauce or something. And then we have the plates, which, are, which also turned out really, really nice set down well and everything. And then we have these little baby cups which are 
not very useful because they're really small, but this is our set. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it gave you ideas for your own pottery or paintings. Don't forget to subscribe!